So, Ollie's at the wheel, but it has gone distinctly wonky. What's happened at Manchester United, Dion? I, I, I wish I knew. I, I, I do. It's, it's, it's kind of frustrating having spent a bit of time at the club and played for the great club in the, in the great stadium. and It just doesn't look like a Man United team that I've watched for, for, I don't know, how many games? 14, 18 games. It's been terrible. And you know what it is as well? When you put the red shirt on United, all you have to do really to get on side of the fans is, is work hard. Good body language, you know, mm. play for the shirt, earn the right, earn, earn your money, help your mate out, do it for the fans, do it. Nothing at the moment, and it has been quite embarrassing to watch United be so poor, which is, which is not what they are known for. Their standards are so high, Manchester United, if you drop them a little bit, you are in trouble. But are you scratching your head like many others as to why it's yeah. gone awry? Because he came in when the time was... You could only describe the atmosphere as toxic. Mm. Mm. There was that incredible turnaround, broke the record in the Champions League, overturned a home leg deficit of two, the miracle of PSG. But it's just fallen off of a cliff since then. What has changed fundamentally that's brought about I, I, the, the downturn in results? I, I wish I knew. I wish I had the answer. I don't look at those. Let's just look at that. Look at that run of results. Since from Man he's got the job full time. Manchester United, that is. It, it, it's just... I don't know. I, I've, the, 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 players, the players have to be embarrassed by this. They surely have to be embarrassed by finishing where they finished. The way they finished as well, losing at home to relegate... They did a record Cardiff. number in the Premier League this season. Yeah, I, I can't give you the answer to why, but there's loads and loads of um, yeah. ingredients. Would you, would, would you speculate as to why, you two? No, but even the two wins there that they've got, they didn't deserve to win those games of football. Watford went there and dominated the game. West Ham went there and dominated the game. There's something fundamentally flawed at that football club at the moment. And everyone was pointing the finger at Jose Mourinho when he was there. And he was saying to the media, there's things going on that you don't understand. And then Oli comes in, and for a group of players, for their performances to go from down there to up there to back down there so quickly, so quickly there's yeah. something really seriously wrong. And, and a lot of players need to look at themselves in the mirror because it's obviously it's not just the coaching. There's a lot more, a lot more to you, it. You don't know unless you're, unless you're at the top of the tree like him, you don't really know, unless you're on the training ground, you know. Yeah, exactly. Is it even more alarming, though, Emma, as Liam says, the fact that they were there, went there, and then they've gone back there? I think it's more alarming that, that people don't think that this was coming. This has been coming for quite some time. This hasn't just happened. They didn't arrive to this point. Complacency in any culture is not something that just drops off. It happens without you even being aware of it. And then all of a sudden you look back and you say, hang on a minute, we're not in the same place we once were as a, as a club or as a team. There needs to be a reset, mm. a reboot, and there needs to be a, an analysis in there to say, how, what, what, where, what are we trying to do? Where are we going when we do this and, and how? And from there, a rebuild of all of that. I think sometimes the legacy building in around the Sir Alex Ferguson era, there's an attempt to try and replicate something that's been done. It's not to lose sight of the values, because I think that, that's the important part. Mm -hmm. But what is important is not to just try to repeat that in exactly the same fashion. Granted, you want to play football in a certain way, but the realities are, and I think, I, I, you know, I feel comfortable saying this, winning the Premier League now versus 10, 15 years ago, there are even more experienced managers, uh, perhaps with more diverse backgrounds. You've got an even bigger playing pool in the Premier League. Um, I think it's much harder to win it now. I'm not taking anything away mm. from Sir Alex. No, it's set. No, no. So I think in order to do that, it needs a root and branch that really mm. needs a, a, a whole reflection of the performance culture and everything that goes on within that to get it right, to eradicate the things that are not quite right in there. And that includes players that need to get out. And, and I can't say what that is because I'm not inside that, but, but that needs to happen at a very high level and there needs to be people in place that are supporting the manager it's, to do that. It's so difficult because you, you look at the squad of players and I don't think there's many players... I'm talking the big players now. There's not many players you go, oh, he's not good enough, him. He's not good enough for United. They are all good enough for United in regards... Not ability. All, yeah, in regards to ability. Pogba, outstanding, or Sanchez, outstanding, Lukaku, outstanding. Uh, the new boys, Rashford, and, uh, not the new boys, but the young lads. Lingard, Rashford yeah. and Lingard, yeah. and players like Shaw, who got player of the year, and players player of the year. They are all good enough. They are all world-class footballers. Why is it not working? It has to be what happens on the training pitch. 
It's got to be. There's got to be something wrong. Could be a mentality, on the trait could that be a mentality has to thing, Dion. Yeah, cult, cult, it's a cultural Culture, thing. leadership, could be yeah. lots of things. Every it? successful team, if you go through, so take Manchester City, who's the leader of that group, Vincent Company, and yes. you go back to Arsenal, Tony yeah, Adams, yeah. Manchester United, Roy Keane, you had real influential characters in the dressing room. Now, I think the influ influential characters in Manchester United's dressing room in terms of character are actually influencing things in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. In the wrong way. Cast your minds back to the Manchester derby. Mm. Uh, we ran an interview with Paul Pogba pre-match. This was after what had happened at the weekend, where they were poor mm. by their own standards. And Paul Pogba said, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And Roy Keane just sat there shaking his head and asked you, he said, he said I don't believe a single word that he says. He said, in fact, I don't think he believes a word <laughs> that he says. Yeah. And what do we see at the weekend? Second goal, Pogba, no track back, nothing. Yeah. What I would say about Paul Pogba is, I think too much has been placed on his shoulders to be a leader that he's not. Yeah. Because I saw him play in a France team and run the show and win a World Cup with France. But what was the difference with the French team? They had real leaders throughout that team. In and so, around him. In and around mm. him, influencing him in the right way. I don't think he's a... I think well, when surely he, he signed, should be responsible Liam, for his own performances. No, every player has a different personality, Jeff. Every player has a different personality. And you need to tailor to their personality. And to get the best out of them, you need to fit the right characters around them. For me, it, my, 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 my point of view on this is Paul Pogba is not the right, is the, not the right player that Manchester United need right now. Is he a world-class footballer? Yes. Yeah. Is he the type of player that you can base your value Use your structure and make him a leader of a team. For me, he's not. For me, if Real Madrid come and, and say we want to take Paul Pogba, not because he's a poor player, not because he's a poor character, he's just not the right fit for Manchester United. Do, do you have, do you have, sorry, Jeff, do you have, um, sure. do you, or would you keep Paul Pogba and try and get the, the players that you think could nurture him to play the right no, way? No, because what Paul Pogba, from a tactical point of view, if you watch against Manchester City or Liverpool, get absolutely dominated in midfield because he lacks so much discipline in his positioning. And to play, and if they, they want to compete against Liverpool, Manchester United, Liverpool, Manchester United, yes, they play wonderful attack of football. They're so disciplined in their organisation and their structure. Manchester United, for as long as Paul Pogba's playing centre midfield for Manchester United, you see other, I remember Michael Carrick, and he made players better mm. around him because of his positioning, his selflessness. Paul Pogba makes players around him worse players because they're constantly having mm. to fill in in places where yeah. he just floats around. You, can't, you cannot afford it's to It's true, and I think when you talk about the performances from France, I think it's very different to a Premier League game. There's less transitions. Yeah, yeah. There's more build-up phases. I think that, yes, the leadership element, but tactically it's more suited yeah, but to yeah, that yeah, and yeah, a different yeah, style yeah, of yeah, football yeah, than the Premier League. League. I think where we started yeah. this, though, I think where we started this, when Dion said, for that club, you know, the basics, run around a bit, get a sweat on, make some effort. Mm. He's not doing it. Yeah. You can't just say a... he's a great, great player. He's no, it? I've got a fear of this Put whole... Put a shift in. Yeah, that's a, it's an easy thing to say. I remember watching the Manchester derby and this whole thing. Yes, you need to put a shift in, but there's so much more to football than just work hard. Of course. You have to structure your team to be able to win the ball back. You have to. And this thing about working hard and work rate and desire, yes, some players have it in abundance. It's a character thing. But, it's a character but also thing. on top of that is this naivety around just because they're Manchester United, they're going to remain at the top. No, no one has a given right, right to remain there. And at the heart of the resurgence of other clubs in and around that, even clubs that are considered less, you know, fashionable or have as much wealth and as much power, they have behind it an organisational structure that's geared towards a platform for success for everybody within that yeah, top OK, bottom. so l last word on Paul Pogba then. Mm. Would he flourish in Pep Guardiola's Man City side? No chance. No way. Why not? No he way. He just doesn't fit the style of play, no, nowhere near. He doesn't have the intensity in transitions, he doesn't have the discipline in possession, with and without the ball. There's absolutely no way that Paul Pogba would play in a Pep I've, 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 got, I've got to say, though, I, I disagree with Lee when he's saying that, you know, he doesn't fit because different players have different, you know, ways of playing the game. Whatever you say, Lee, mm. I can't remember exactly what you said. But black and white for me is you run around, you work hard. That is as simple as that. Yeah. That is as simple as that. As a coach and as a manager, if you're a professional footballer, if you get a chance to sign on the dotted line as a professional footballer, bread and water is run around. But, yeah. but you've seen, with no disrespect, Simple as you're that. seeing players coming from Italy. You've seen it time and time again where they're coming with a low intensity mm. football into the Premier League. The expectation's different. I've seen it time and time again. I've seen it in lights of how long it's taken Higuain mm. to adapt to mm. the Premier League. It's about recognising that perhaps some 
players may not be best fit for the Premier League in that regard. Yeah, not, yeah, I don't think agreed. anybody disputes his talents. He's a very talented football player. I equally agree the amount of responsibility because of a price tag is placed on mm -hmm. him. But, you know, what are United to do again? Go and spend irresponsibly again right, without a, a method? Is the reckless they element? They need to. I was, I, was, I, was I, was so excited. I was so excited about Pogba coming back to United as well. well you know, I was so excited about it because he, he is world class, and I really wanted him to do well. Yeah. But when he did well, I suspect, for Juventus, I suspect this one will run. Yeah. This one will run and run. <laughs> yeah. this, one, this one will run and run. He's kept the debate very healthy this season, Paul Pogba. <laughs>